We are cooking in the kitchen this morning with Chef Sandy Batista from Tuca's Restaurant and Catering in Pawtucket. So excited. You got some great things here. So Sandy, what are we going to be making this morning? We're going to do something fun for summer. We're going to grill uh, some swordfish and shrimp in uh, port wine pineapple infused skewers. I know it's a lot, but it sounds Yes. It tastes even better than it sounds. And it, it sounds so summer. And of course, Tukas is with the restaurant that is having the roadie deal this week. So for $20, you can get a $40 coupon. Huge thing. But let's dive into these ingredients for this recipe. Awesome. So we have some sea salt. We also have olive oil. We have garlic olive oil. Um, we make that quite a bit in the restaurant. We use it just about for everything. Mm -hmm. I have some sazon. I have white pepper. Um, we have a little bit of homemade hummus to decorate the plate, a little bit of white pepper, some lemon, some bay leaves, some parsley, a little crushed red pepper. We've got a lot going on over there. You said <laughs> something that I don't know what it is. Sazon? Sazon, yes. So it's um, it's definitely like a Spanish, European, um, South America um, seasoning. It has a little bit of saffron. You get that paprika, smoky saffron nice. taste in your food, yes. And what kind of tools and where should people be making this meal? I mean, typically I would do this outside. It's a great grilled summer dish um, because it's Rhode Island and you know, if you don't like the weather, wait a minute. It's 68 degrees and a yep. little chilly and raining. <laughs> We're gonna try this inside today, but, um, and if it doesn't, you, if you can't get outside to grill it, saute it with a little bit of butter, a little bit of olive oil, and it'll come out just as good. Fantastic, and you said it's swordfish, so is there anything we need to look for when we're picking out our swordfish? Just make sure it's you're getting it from a reputable person. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure it's nice and white, and um, you know, pick a nice piece. You want a nice, thick piece, um, especially for the skewers. You don't want something that's already pre-cut because mm -hmm. you want those nice chunks on there. Wonderful, wonderful. And the skewers, do you need to do anything to the skewers ahead of time? Um, you don't have to, but if you did want to dip the wooden skewers mm -hmm. inside of that port wine, honey, and cayenne pepper mixture that we're going to make. It would add a little bit more flavor, but we're going to... Delicious. Know. Yeah, it sounds great. Well, we're going to get to marinating in the next segment, but for now, back to you. For now that we're going to go back into the kitchen with more delicious food, Mary, how's it going? So great. Chef Sandy Batista is here from Tuga's Restaurant and Catering. Of course, this is the roadie deal this week. For $20, you can get a $40 coupon. And we're going to start working on these skewers, right, Sandy? Yes. Are you ready to get your hands a little dirty? Sure. Okay. Let's do it. Not too much. I'll go easy on you. It's still a little early. So you're going to put the honey right inside the uh, pineapple. All right. You don't need to put all of it. I think I'm... Good to know. Uh, Perfect. I do love honey, so Perfect. can't go wrong there. So we're also going to put the port wine. This is an, uh, um, this port wine was from the vineyard of, let's see, Porto, and it's a 2011. They only made, I don't know, not many of these at all. So it's Lovely. a very special mm -hmm. port wine, and we're going to do a little bit of cayenne. Okay. How spicy do you like things? I love as spicy as can be. I mean, I want... Challenge accepted. Bring it on, All right. Though. Bring it on. So now, how so. long should this marinate for? You you could probably marinate the, these the day before. It's um, It'll infuse that flavor into the pineapple. But if you don't have time, you know, you can do it just right away. It just throw it on there. Okay. And if you're not a canned food, canned pineapple kind of person, of course, you can use the fresh pineapple as Great. well. So we're going to let this marinate. I'm just going to stir it up there a little bit. All right. To get that cayenne pepper in there. And what that does is your guests will take a bite and they're going to go, mmm, and then they'll go, oh, you know. <laughs> yes. like, the has sweet a little, at first and then the spicy. A little kick. All right. So we are going to marinate our swordfish and our shrimp. Okay. Okay. Let me hand so, that to you. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's bring this over here. Or actually, let's put it right on top of this template okay. right here. So if you don't mind, could you grab the uh, malagueta, which is the spice of right here. Okay, Yep, good. that is the red pepper flakes. And just sprinkle it all over? Yeah, not too much, because you don't want your mouth to be on fire. <laughs> I know you like See, things I like spicy. spicy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take it easy on your guests. Um, we typically would use the wet one. We don't have the wet one today. I was in a little bit of a rush. That's okay. So we're gonna improvise. We're gonna do some garlic olive oil. Let's do about half of that. All right, so we're gonna keep here putting this inside, helping this marinate, and in the next set, when we come back, we are going to see the finished product and put it all together. Yes. Fantastic. Yum, yum. Well, we're going to keep cooking. Back to you. Man, does it smell good in the Rose mm -hmm. Show kitchen today. Chef Sandy is here from Tuga's Restaurant and Catering. We just told you about their great roadie deals that they have going on. $40 gift certificate for just 20 bucks. And believe me, if the food smells <laughs> as good as this as it does in your restaurant, you're going to be flocking there. It's wow. Just, thank you. They're already sizzling on um, on this griddle. Mm -hmm. It sounds fantastic, and they look even better. Um, do you ladies want to try the pineapple before it's cooked? 
in that port wine, honey, and cayenne? Um, yes. <laughs> I think it sounds like it has a really great kick. Yeah. Will was bringing up something, too, of how we, he, he mentioned during our buzz segment we were talking about really great food and how sometimes he just enjoys the classics, like a really great burger. So, you said you have a good one. <laughs> I'm challenging you, Will. We have a great burger. It's the Portuguese <laughs> burger. It's a six-ounce burger with bacon, uh, Portuguese cheese, sauteed chorizo and peppers, mm. um, a fried egg, and of course the spicy boom sauce, and then it's topped off with a little bit of fig jam. Wow. Um, or you can just have a nice big bacon cheeseburger if that's what you'd like. Nice. And a little of everything too, including these skewers, which I love in the summertime, being able to throw stuff on the grill. Yeah. Throw it on a stick, throw it on the grill. Can't so, make it easier. Yeah. No, it's it's fantastic. And, of course, all the neighbors are going to want to come over and have a little thumb <laughs> See what you're doing. That's right. <laughs> so you weren't kidding. It was sweet. And now, <laughs> wow, it is spicy. Oh, my gosh, Mary. <laughs> oh, no. But it's, no, but it's so good because pineapple is such a sweet fruit that to be able to balance it out, that was fun. Thanks. Thank you. Are you ready? Yeah. So, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, Mary, now I'm ready to cry, I guess. <laughs> no, no, no. Mary really likes it spicy, so... Oh, I, I like it with a kick, so okay. that's okay. But you're saying, okay, okay, I hope so you mean that. <laughs> it's deceiving at first. Oh, yeah. And then just wait. Okay. So come wait for it. No, it's really nice. It does feel very balanced. Yes. Now it pitches back in the throat. <laughs> wow, that's really good. It doesn't even taste like pineapple at first, no. and I mean that in the best way possible. You've created a brand new flavor, and you've done that too with the seafood that you've selected here. About how long does that have to grill for? Probably 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Um, and then it should be, you know, it's it's pretty quick. So you could walk away, come mm -hmm. back, and, and it should be ready to, to go. Now, I see this, the um, swordfish, right? Yes. They, those are really big pieces. Yes. So about an inch and a half, would you say? About an inch and a half. I mean, it's up to the individual, mm -hmm. but at the restaurant, um, I like to serve nice big pieces. You know, I don't yeah. want to cheat anybody, and yeah. you come, you're going to have a nice meal, and you're going to get the nice big pieces. But if you're in a time crunch, cooking, cutting them smaller will help you expedite the cooking time. Beautiful. You have some other dishes that you brought along there, too. What did you bring? So we brought our uh, cheese plate, um, and that comes with deep fried chorizo, some uh, fig jam, mm. um, crackers. Um, we also have our famous Mozambique. Um, and that's a Mozambique appetizer. It Yum. does have a little bit of a kick. We serve it with the bread. So, of course, you can get all that extra. Oh, yeah. yeah. Molho. Yeah. Molho is how we say sauce in Portuguese. I have my, um, my drunken pear, which is a family recipe, but it's basically poached in port wine again and um, with a little bit of lemon zest, a little bit of ice cream and whipped cream. That is awesome Ooh, in the yeah. summer. Yum. And then our V-talk, which is our most popular dish. It's a pan-fried uh, steak in pan-fried in butter because butter makes everything better. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, Amen. In our signature brown gravy with a fried egg, fries, and rice. Um, my staff has named it the B2K because some of them don't speak Portuguese and it was easier for them to say it that way. That is perfect. And for the sake of time, I want to show you what this dish looks like perfect. once it's all done. Pair it with some delicious sides. And there you go. I love it. Now, you have a very special way to say goodbye to everyone, right? Yes. Yeah, so I do quite a few videos on Facebook where, um, and I, for some reason, it's just translated into uh, new customers and a great adventure. Mm -hmm. And at the end, we always say, Beijinhos e beijocas, which means little kisses and big kisses. So we're going to say it one at a time. Oh, okay. yeah, you've got it already, ready? <laughs> so on the count of three, Beijinhos, Beijinhos, Beijocas, Beijocas. Beijocas. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Back to you, Will. Take it away. <laughs>